We finally got more details about the certified flying car that's been in development for decades. Klein Vision's air car is officially on track for customer deliveries, and now we know exactly what it offers. From its sleek design and automatic transformation system to the engine specs, performance figures, and price tag, everything is finally clear. So let's dive into the features, the cost, and when you can expect to get your hands on one. So after more than three decades of development, over 500 successful test flights, and countless refinements, the Slovakian company has unveiled its production-ready fifth-generation air car prototype. And before you raise some safety issues, you have to know that this is a certified road-ready vehicle that's gone through rigorous design and testing and is now preparing for full EASA and FAA certification by late September 2025. Once certified by the FAA, mass production and deliveries will begin by early 2026, as the company plans to bring in a new era where you can drive your car to the airport, press a button, and take to the skies. So let's get into the features of this thing, the price tag, and more. One of the most striking aspects of the air car is its seamless transformation from road vehicle to aircraft. In just about 80 seconds, its wings unfold, the tail extends, and the car's internal systems shift from road to air mode. The steering wheel even transforms into a flight yoke, complete with rudder pedals, giving pilots full control in flight mode. Unlike some Chinese models we have seen before, there's no need for external assistance or lengthy preparations. Just align the car on a runway, press the button, and you're airborne shortly after. When you're done flying, the wings retract, the tail folds in, and the car becomes road legal once again, capable of fitting in a regular parking space just like any other sedan. At five meters long and two meters wide, it's roughly the size of a Mercedes S-Class and even fills up with regular high-octane gasoline at any normal fuel station. As of now, the production version boasts three engine options, all 3.2-liter V6 sourced from South Africa's Adept Air Motive. The base model features 280 horsepower, while the high-end twin-turbo variant tops out at 340 horsepower. And on the ground, the air car can reach up to 200 kilometers per hour, or 124 miles per hour, making it a true sports car. In the air, it cruises comfortably at 155 miles per hour, or 135 knots, and can climb up to 10,000 feet. Although with oxygen support, it could easily reach 18,000 feet. Its fuel capacity allows for a flying range of around 1,000 kilometers, or 620 miles. While on the road, it can go about 800 kilometers, or 497 miles on a single fill-up. Usually, the most question that people come up with in the comments section whenever we post a flying car is, what if you ran out of fuel mid-air? The answer to this, obviously, you will see a fuel gauge indicating how low your fuel is, then you can fly to the ground and drive to a petrol station. The price tag places it firmly in the private aircraft range, starting at $800,000 and potentially reaching up to $1.2 million, depending on the engine and luxury level. While that might seem steep, it's in line with what private pilots are already willing to pay for a high-performance four-seat airplane. And in return, they're getting a vehicle that can be driven home to the office or to the store. The sleek design also gives it a distinct visual edge over other flying car concepts. Unlike many designs that rely on three wheels to dodge car regulations, Klein's four-wheeled model embraces those standards, giving it better road stability and a more traditional look that blends in when not in the air. But Klein Vision has planned for more to accommodate more passengers, unlike other flying vehicles that only do two-seaters. The team is already exploring three-seat and four-seat variants, including a unique layout that positions the pilot in the center and passenger slightly behind and to the sides, inspired by the layout of McLaren's Speedtail. Even more ambitious is their concept for a three-mode vehicle, one that adds amphibious capabilities to the existing drive-and-fly functionality. This would allow the air car to operate on water, expanding its reach to island getaways, lakeside towns, and other hard-to-access destinations. Though it wouldn't be a high-speed boat, it would provide a whole new layer of versatility to the vehicle. Klein himself began designing aircraft in secret in the 1980s Czechoslovakia under a regime that feared citizens might fly over the Iron Curtain. That same passion for freedom now drives a company that's planning to change personal transportation forever. One of the standout features of Klein Vision's air car is its use of high-octane automotive gasoline instead of traditional aviation fuels like Jet A. This choice offers a big advantage if you think about it, as owners can refuel at standard gas stations, eliminating the need for specialized aviation fuel infrastructure. 
On this, I think they handled convenience for their future clients in the best way possible, and in return also reduces operational costs as jet fuel is typically more expensive and less accessible than automotive gasoline. So in a way, it could be cheaper to run this vehicle than to do a private jet. And remember, unlike a private jet that you have to leave it in the hangar and take a vehicle to your home, with this beast, you can fly yourself to a certain airport and drive yourself home without any hustle. And if you compare it to the EVTOL, or what we refer to as electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles that rely on heavy battery systems, the air car's gasoline powered engine offers a more practical solution. Battery technology currently presents challenges for aviation applications due to weight and energy density limitations. Achieving longer flight ranges with batteries necessitates larger, heavier packs, which can compromise payload capacity and overall efficiency. This is why by utilizing a conventional fuel engine, the air car avoids these issues, providing a balanced approach that supports both extended range and payload without the drawbacks associated with current battery technologies. And now they are thinking about introducing even a four-seat flying car, meaning you could fly with your family in peace. And personally, I think the decision to use gasoline aligns with existing global infrastructure, making the air car more adaptable to various environments. Although we know it's not a greener option compared to like electric, but I think it makes more sense as of now because of the advantage it has over the other option. For now, Klein Vision has expressed interest in transitioning to electric propulsion in the future, but they acknowledge that current battery advancements are not yet sufficient for their performance goals. This approach of theirs ensures that the air car remains a viable and scalable option for personal and commercial use in the near term, leveraging widespread fuel availability to facilitate broader adoption